What's up guys, uh, Vasylum here today, and this will be my first ever editing tutorial. Uh, for the first episode here, it'll just be something simple, but a lot of people don't exactly do it, like, correctly, if you know what I mean. Um, but I'm just gonna do a Twixter tutorial here in this episode, but if you guys want to see any other tutorials on anything, it can be in, uh, after Effects or Vegas, I don't really know Photoshop right now, just leave it in the comments and I'll probably do it, because I really don't know what to do a tutorial on. And I'm actually recording this from my iPod, because I cannot run Camtasia, After Effects, and Vegas at once. So, I guess we'll have to see how good this audio quality comes out to be. Alright, so first thing, first thing you want to do is, well first of all, you want to have at, um, Twixter, and just type it in on YouTube, just Twixter, it'll pop up. Alright, first thing you want to do is find a spot where you want it to Twixter. For the, uh, for this, I'll just do, like, where it aims in. It seems, like, good when you, you slow down when you aim in. It, it just kind of looks cool when you Twixter it. Alright, so let's move it to the part. Alright, and my computer is not, like, meant to handle After Effects, so I can't run it on this full quality. I have to put it on this quarter quality. Alright, so first thing you want to do is go to the point where it starts aiming in, or basically where you want it to start uh, slowing down, and then click on Effect, RE Vision Plugins, and Twixter 4.5. I don't even do 4.5 Pro. It's kind of pointless. Alright, the first thing you want to do is look at this input frame rate. You want to take a look at your clip here, and right there it says what the frame rate is, and just copy that into here. Most clips have 59.94 or 29.97. You also want to tick this box right here. It called, it's called Smart Blend, and it really seems to uh, make it blend well. And, um, sorry, I kind of forgot this out, but a lot of times if you Twixter something, like, if you just throw it on the entire clip, it causes, like, uh, kind of weird um, blending, kind of. So what I like to do, mo I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find an example, I don't think I can, but I used to make the mistake of actually uh, doing that blending thing. So what you want to do is basically uh, just chop, whoops, what did I do there? Alright, you basically want to, what in the world? Alright, you basically want to, um, oh my god, I'm sorry guys, I don't know what's happening, it's not letting me, so there we go, alright. Basically, what you want to do is split it where you want it to the twig string to stop and start. Now, let's see, where do we want the aiming in to stop? Probably before he gets flashed, probably right here. God, I don't know, I mean, I'm doing the thing for splitting. I don't even know, what is that? I'm doing, oh my god. <laughs> doing control shift D, I don't know what this is. Let me try it again. Oh my god. Alright, split layer then. And uh, since I messed up on the first part, take off the Twixter on the parts here. So we just have it on this clip in the middle. It's still got all our settings and whatnot. And so what you want to do, let's uh, make this a little smaller so we can see this more, is um, hit the stopwatch here for speed. It's at 100 now. Move forward one frame. And honestly, Twixter at five or ten or something or even like twenty is pretty ugly there's a lot of motion just blending and it's really ugly i'd recommend something like one two point five that's just what seems to work the best for this i will we'll put in one press enter so it's a keyframe and right now it is basically twixtered but as you see if you move it forward it like just chops right to that. So basically what I do is you want to move this clip over, take your Twixter clip, go to layer, time, enable time remapping, and just stretch it out until you really feel like it can blend well with the clip that you're going to. See, that's a pretty good blend right there. Alright, now let's take a look at this. Twixtering. And we'll let it do a uh, RAM preview here. 
And I'll show you two other settings that you can do. Look how smooth that is. Should we make that longer? Yeah, let's make it longer. That's what she said. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Alright. Something else you can do, you can take this right here, enable frame blending. Some people say it really makes it smoother. I don't think it makes much of a difference. If you want to, you can. Also, another thing you can do is go to layer, frame blending, pixel motion. That also supposedly makes it smoother, but again, I'm not really sure. And by the way, guys, when you twixt or something, the audio gets really messed up. So just throw in your own gun sounds. That's what I do. Um, but if you can somehow figure out how to make sound work well, do it. Alright, so let's watch the Twixter. The smooth Twixter. Look how smooth that is. Alright guys, that was basically my Twixter tutorial and how I Twixter things. If you have any suggestions for other editing tutorials, uh, Vegas, After Effects, whatever, just post it in the comments below and I will probably do it because I really don't know what else to do a tutorial on. So, alright, thanks for watching guys and I will see you later.